What's up, Exeter? What's up? Apparently, this is going to be mostly me talking because I'm the only one that has a microphone. So I hope you're ready. We're here at Texas Frightmare Weekend 2024. Yeah. Let's I'm get some scares happening. For, for two autographs, you know, because here at Exit to Adventure, we're big Lost Boys fans, yeah. and we did bring the comic book from the movie that we purchased in Santa Cruz. So we're going to get Billy Worth and Jason Patrick to sign. So we're currently walking through the exhibit hall. Because we are here on a Sunday. They said that they were on the second floor but moved them downstairs. And apparently you had to get like a virtual ticket to be able to get their autograph. But they think they stopped that. I'm not really sure. So they sent us out on a quest to find out. We literally just walked into the exhibit hall on the downstairs and made the lap and found them immediately and probably waited a total of five minutes. Yeah, that was awesome. That's cool to be able to get to enjoy the convention without having to stand in line to meet them. Especially last year when we, especially last year when we, when we waited in line, which it was worth it to get to wait for Matthew Lillard, but literally had to wait there all day. So this was a nice to come in. It's not as crowded because we came on Sunday this year, so. That was actually two years ago, sir. Oh, yeah, too. Well, you know, time flies when you're having fun. Time also is forgetful when you're old. <laughs> Fair enough. Burn. Burn. So we're going to let you guys have a look <laughs> at the comic that they signed. They actually asked her name and pronounced it correctly and spelled it correctly, both of them. So there's both their signatures, Billy Worth, Jason Patrick. And, of course, you know, we had to tell them about our Lost Boys filming locations video that we did, and they thought that was amazing. In hopes they, they would subscribe. It's, especially uh, Billy. Like, he was, like, real, like, into it. As far as, like, you know. He's uh, super nice. Yeah. When we were lined up and I, like, saw them, like, actually, the, my arms went numb and I felt my heart stop, but it's okay. And then I saw that no one was there and it was all tone, but I didn't want to just go up there, so I kind of pretended to be looking around <laughs> so he would go up there first. And, yeah, I had a good time. And... It looks like we hit it just in time because they're now leaving their booth to go do, I guess, their um, more expensive, you know, photo op thing. So we actually hit it just right. Oh, and yes, Billy was so freaking awesome that we only paid for the autograph to get the comic book signed. But yet he did like a selfie, like two photo selfie with the family. Awesome. Billy rocks. Billy is awesome, and he had an awesome death. Death by stereo. AJ says she was not breathing at all during these pictures with Billy. Now, this is cool. Since they have the 50th anniversary of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre this year, they have this photo op set up. There's the replica of the bodies posed at the cemetery. Over here, you got Grandpa. Still sitting in his chair. They even have a lamp over here on the side, fully made of human bone. Oh, who wouldn't like to have that in their house? The bulb. Let's get over here and get a closer shot of this. That. Like I was saying, since this is the 50th year, 1974, when that movie came out, we're here in 2024. 50 right. years. 50 years. Hard to believe it's been 50 years. They even have 50 year merchandise over there. 
Yeah, so this in con is heavily influenced by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre this year. As well it should be. You pretty much have, I think, all of the living cast or people that worked on the movie here signing autographs. Yeah, I, yeah, because I think just past this booth is actually is all of them. I know I saw Grandpa. I can't remember who else, but I think all of them that are living. I know the Hitchhiker's here. I think Pam is here. Kurt's here. A lot of people that like went into like the production and stuff of the film yeah. are also here. 50th anniversary. Everybody, you if, you, if you're alive, you got to be here. Yeah. And they even have a table just over here to our right with pieces from the house that was demolished. The only location we couldn't get. The asphalt is the road. It's, it's pieces of um, the road. Oh, it's the road? The road the where the whole ending of the movie sits. The, the chase, the... 18 wheeler, the truck, the famous chainsaw dance is chunks of that road. So even if we could have gotten over there where it was at, the road would have been gone. They busted it off. <laughs> yeah, so we'll show you the and table. And they're selling it for $30 a pop. We'll show you the table. It's a lot of stuff that are, is like just dedicated to the 50th anniversary, yeah. like merch and stuff. Here's a poster. They got set up on the corner. Lots of t-shirt designs across the back wall back here. Oh, I like this one. Posters. Some of the hats they have. I'm actually gonna get this one. Some pictures from the movie. Look, these are the pieces of the asphalt right here that we were talking about. All bagged up, ready for you to take a piece of it home. Got the man himself. Boss leather face right there. These are cool. Living dead dolls. These are amazing. I have some more of the living dead dolls over here. We got Pennywise. Wednesday. Ghostface. To greet you on the corner right here, we got a nice big statue of Nosferatu. And he's for sale. Oh, sorry. Boom. Oh so you can own your very own Nosferatu. You might turn your lights on and off. We need that for the house. Here's another thing that you can um, purchase. Costume. Oh, these are pretty cool. The blades got all the universal monsters. Oh. Pennywise. I got a bag that I can give us. They have a Jason statue right here on the corner. The eyes always get me. Just waiting. You remember the first year we came here, the one that was standing next to the, yeah, he was the like post? This. And he was standing there so long that we were like, he's got to be a statue. And then, and then he moved. Yeah, and then he like turned his head and started like staring over at us. Yeah. He was just sitting there staring at us. So this, this is a part of the Dark Creations booth. These are all costumes you can purchase. Gearing up for the Halloween season. Hey, this, this hanging off over looks like the stuff that hangs from the trees in uh, the Alan Wake 2 game. 
Yeah, I know you, it's not, but it you know like if it. it's got sticks and a weird pattern, it's going to be creepy. Get you a mask. Over here inside their booth, they have more costumes and masks. Fake dynamite. Oh, these costumes are beautiful. Very legit and authentic looking. Do you imagine her coming out of the woods? Uh, and if you take one, come see some of the cool stuff that they have. Remember, all the proceeds go back to 2022 and help us stop the veterans in so, of course, they have tons of artwork, posters, any kind of knickknacks that you can imagine that would fit the bill for horror. It is here. Find everything your horror heart desires. Hey, that <laughs> I like his hat and coat. His name is Hijinks. These actually right here in front of you, these are some of my favorite that we've seen so far. The glow-in-the-dark art pieces. If we did not have limited room in our car since we're traveling for several weeks, these would be coming home with us today. Nice. This booth is the Creature Cosmetics. Basically, makeup that is horror themed. Got an Evil Dead palette. Trick or treat. I actually got me a shirt, a They Live shirt from this booth over here. It's some really cool horror shirts. And directly across from them, you have Nightmare Toys from Las Vegas. And I actually have never been to their store, but I follow them on Instagram, so it is on my list to visit one day. I see a ghoulie statue up here. A lot of masks over here. Oh, here's one down here closer. There's literally too much stuff here to even begin to show you. And there's too much stuff that I want to buy, which is not good. I don't have enough money. Don't have enough space. But I feel like I need it all, don't you? Just ran across this, and these are cutting boards with a picture of Jeffrey Dahmer on them. It says, start eating at home more. Wonder what Jeffrey's eating. Or was eating, I should say. They even have packaged body parts, some hands, your feet. Tongues and noses. Peeping Tom. Trick or Treat Studios even has a booth. I follow them on Instagram also. I really wanted the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game they have on the table. Last, like I told you before, we're limited on space.
Big disappointment. Aside from this being the year of the 50th anniversary of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, obviously that was a, the, you know, that's the big thing here. Yeah. But a big hit here also is your shirt. Yeah, everybody loved my Lemmy shirt. It's Lemmy as Frankenstein. And then on the back it says, Lemmy forever. Like, I was just walking by and, like, every booth we stopped at was like, oh, dude, I love your shirt. Shout out to Toxic Tunes. That's, that's where I got my shirt. Not sponsored or anything, but I love the dude's work. So We've had his calendar for the past two years. Yeah. We've got plenty of stickers, patches, and the majority of my t-shirts that you guys see me wear on this channel, with the exception of my motor, uh, Motorhead t-shirt, is all from him. If it looks like this or anything Frankenstein, it's definitely him. So, shout out Talk to the Tunes again. Not sponsored, man. Wish I was. <laughs> well, that does it for Texas Frightmare Weekend 2024. Pretty cool. Catch you guys down the road at the next exit. Cheap, spooky. Later.